Hi, I'm Saskia, and I'm in bed with the tourist company from Canada. This is Lindsay, this is Taylor, and that's Brian. Um, and I'm, I will be asking some questions. And the first one will be, what happened last night? Ooh, who has the best memory of that? Uh, saw a lot of giant disco balls. That's true. Huge disco balls. That big. There is a Wait, surplus of disco balls. Yeah. Lots in of Hamburg, stuff. apparently. Yeah. Where but would that be? All just along the Raper All along the Raper okay. Just yeah. disco balls everywhere. Uh, lots of beer. Lots of beer. Lots of beer happened? There's a few naps in there somewhere because of the jet lag, so I kind of black in and out. Not because of, like, too much beer, but because of sleeping, yeah. which I think is not as exciting as blacking out if you're mm-hmm. drinking. <laughs> <laughs> saw some music. Saw Current Swell. Great. Yeah. Other Canadian act. Good friends. Current Swell. Little mm-hmm. plug. Um, and then we went to bed. Yeah. It was pretty lame. <laughs> I think it sounds nice. I thought it was great. I didn't think it was lame. Gosh, Took the right train in. back to our hostel. Yeah. yeah. Did some pole dancing on the train. We did some pole we dancing on the train. Me. There it is. There that it was is. the exciting thing. <laughs> pole dancing on an empty train at <laughs> 2 o'clock in the morning. There we go. Yeah. It's wild. That's wild. Yeah. That's that's wild. That question. Yeah. yeah, there we go. She should have led with that. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> And where are you going to sleep tonight? At our hostel? Fingers crossed at the I mean, hostel. <laughs> if we can find our way back, our sense of direction in this city is yeah, still a, a work in progress. Yeah. yeah. So, but I think, yeah, that's the plan. We have bunk beds. It's really cute. Which is sweet. And we have a couple of roommates who don't talk a whole lot. No, man, they left. Oh, that's right, they left. Okay. But the last couple of days when they were here, we'd like walk in the hostel, like all chatting, but then we'd all get really quiet because they'd just be like stone faced. Yeah. No speaking in the hostel room. So we're just like, we like getting ready for bed. Like, what are you going to do tomorrow? We didn't want to, they just were super quiet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I woke up to an arm hanging down, like really close <laughs> to my face. <laughs> Like, I turn, I never sleep on my back, but I turned to sleep on my back, and I opened my eyes, and I just saw this arm, like, hanging. It looked like it was dead, and I just stared at it, and it was not nice. It gave me nightmares. <laughs> Big adventure. Yeah. Every night. <laughs> so, would that be the worst or last nightmare you had? Worst nightmare I've ever oh, had. That one. Hmm. I have a recurring nightmare where I lose all of my teeth. Oh, that means I've something. had that dream too. It, it's that actually it's tied to anxiety. Yeah. Oh, is it? It means that you're an anxious person, which I discovered through the internet, and the internet never lies. Doesn't it also um, mean you have a fear of not knowing what you're doing with your life? I think Does that it? too. Yeah, if that like plays into the anxiety. Yeah, we've all had it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that that's my recurring nightmare, and it's uh, like different things every time. I'll just like suddenly be like sitting there and like teeth feel loose, and I'll just, like pull a tooth out. I'm, like that's not supposed to be happening. Uh-huh. It's going to cost me a lot of money to fix. Mm-hmm. That's my nightmare. It's not very drastic though. Oh, I think it is. That's pretty drastic. All your mm-hmm. teeth falling out? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've had that dream. Ugh. Oh. Things with my teeth I get really weird about, so that yeah. that sounds like it'd be the worst nightmare yeah. ever. Like, teeth falling out, stuff hitting your teeth. Ooh. Ooh. Sure. Let's change the topic. <laughs> <Yeah>. What, <laughs> what keeps you from you. sleeping? This hand. Oh, I get it. <laughs> this hand in front Just of your face. Just see it every time. <laughs> For the rest of your life, you'll see that hand in front of your face. Netflix keeps me from sleeping. Yeah. Arrested Development. Yeah. Rick and Morty keeps me from sleeping. Mm -hmm. So TV shows? TV shows. Right now my book is keeping me from sleeping. It's too engaging. So I keep trying to read to get tired and then it just keeps me engaged for way too long into the night. And then that's the nerdiest answer to what keeps me from sleeping ever. But that's that's the case. (laughs) Wanting to play drums keeps me from sleeping. I'll like watch drum videos on YouTube. And then it's like an itch in my brain I can't scratch. I'm like, I have to go play, but it's like three in the morning, so we can't. It's my life. That's what a happy. musician. <laughs> I know. That's... Or an art life. Yeah, that's right. And what would your dream world look like? Ooh. Dream world. A tiger as my best friend. Yeah. I would like... own a tiger. Whoa. Yeah. So that'd be pretty great. I'm wa- in The Walking Dead right now. There's a character who has a tiger. Spoilers. That's, so cool. That's not... It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so you'd have a tiger. I would have some kind of superpower. Mm. But right. only me. Like, everyone else oh. wouldn't. Only me. This is a very narcissistic world of Brennan. It's my dream world. <laughs> it can be <laughs> <a> true. <laughs> I think I would want to be able to fly. 
It's pretty common, yeah. but it's, it's the best. It is. So we'd have tigers as best friends who could yeah. fly with us, and then we could fly everywhere. Yeah, or we could fly on them. Yeah, like never ending story. That'd be fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we wouldn't have to, we wouldn't, like, money wouldn't be a thing. Everyone just, money wasn't a thing. The thing is, if you have the superpower, you're going to be targeted, and people are going to want you as a weapon. Oh, so I was like, want you could be a lot of different you things. You're thinking too <laughs> deeply into this dream world. <laughs> you're already, like, creating problems. It could problems. be anything you want. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. Oh, so flying and tigers. Flying tigers and super bears. Power dreams. <laughs> That's sounds pretty good. To me. Sounds pretty awesome to me. I'm just gonna take a look at that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm cool. <laughs> and what is the nicest and what is the most annoying way to wake someone up? Ooh. Oh boy. The worst way I have been woken up is by. Having someone like give me a wet willy where they oh. and then jam it in your ear and oh. do that. Oh, yeah. That's the worst way okay. to be woken up. Mm-hmm. The best way to be woken up is if my wife comes in and like scratches my back lightly and it's like time to get up. I'm just like, mm. and then, <laughs> that's nice. But I'm sure she wouldn't be past like jamming her wet finger in my ear. As well, so. <laughs> it's a it depends on like the night okay. before and how she's feeling about me that day. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you have an item as a child you needed for sleeping? Ellie the elephant. An LED elephant? Ellie the oh. elephant. Oh, is it? Like, oh, what's what's that? That? <laughs> you were so cool too. Elephant. An LED elephant. <laughs> very, very advanced for the early days. I know, I was like, did they have LEDs <laughs> in the early 90s? They didn't exist. <laughs> Ellie I, the elephant. Ellie Ooh, the elephant. elephant. I had a large there was a song that went along with it. Never. <laughs> Do you remember it? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> I had a big lying. stuffed rabbit named Bun Bun. Mm. I don't know why. I had a polar bear named Polar. There you go. Very creative. <laughs> Kids are super creative. Did you name it? <laughs> Ellie the elephant, Bun Bun the bunny, <laughs> and Polar the polar bear. <laughs> Yeah, we weren't that creative as kids. My sister had a leopard stuffed animal called Leopardina. <laughs> leopard. And we had a golden retriever named Goldie. <laughs> like we were not creative. Not great. Right kids are obvious. No. no. Working though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which monster sleeps under your bed? Rihanna. <laughs> Whoa. She's not the monster. Let's <laughs> What? That's just what popped into my because she has the song. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the monster under your bed song. No. Maybe she's the monster. Maybe she's in love with herself. Maybe it's a, a narcissistic song where she talks about loving herself. Yeah. So Rihanna is the monster under Rihanna's under bed. Her bed. <laughs> Whoa. And everyone else's bed because that's how high she thinks of herself. Did we just make Rihanna's song deep? <laughs> we definitely. <Yeah. laughs> And by the way, I mean you, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Peel back the layers of the onion of that song. <laughs> Anything? What about you guys? Monsters under your bed? Uh, the the fear of failure in my life never meaning anything. Oh. Yikes. Oh. Ooh, I need to take a nap after that one. <laughs> Where do I fight for that? <laughs> I can't think of anything. <laughs> Monster under my bed. Just say Rihanna. Indes- indecision <laughs> then is the monster under your bed. Oh, you can't make it. Under there. Something. <laughs> Something. Hands. Metaphor. I don't know what monsters. it is. That's who, the fear of the unknown. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's under my bed. The fear of it. Yeah. It's felt like a therapy <laughs> session. I know. Yeah. Geez. I feel good. Yeah, I feel much better. <laughs> Thanks. That's mm-hmm. all. Yeah. That's all. Thanks for answering. Thanks so much for having us. Thanks for having us. We've been the tourist company. Thank you. Still the tourist company. We have yeah. been and are. And always will be. <laughs> Thank you. Do you like do a slow zoom of this? In, <laughs> in bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanna be someone who you can.